This is a message for all of you hunters out in the state of Tennessee. Uh, the Tennessee Wildlife Resources Agency has got an open period between now and the 1st of February 2023 to uh, amend and listen to ideas to uh, change the hunting rules here in Tennessee. There's one certain rule change that has been proposed by the uh, different gun owners groups here in Tennessee. They've been pushing for for about 15 years and they just can't ever seem to quite get it over the top. You've got to get the bureaucrats to listen to you and to make them realize that there's enough support out here so this would be a viable thing to do. And that is there are some proposed changes to the uh, deer hunting laws in the state of Tennessee that I think are quite uh, reasonable and very much needed. The first proposed rule change is very simple and it's something they should have been doing all along. It's basically just to allow, once archery season is over, then uh, landowners can use their uh, handgun or rifle of choice to hunt on their own land. That's a simple thing, it's intuitive, it's amazing that we don't have that already, but that's the first of the proposals that they've got up for this. The second proposed change is to change muzzleloader season to a quote unquote primitive weapons season, which would allow the use of straight walled cartridges in rifles and handguns as long as that cartridge is greater than 35 caliber and that the cartridge length is less than 1.8 inches. Something like that would be perfect for uh, a Thompson Center contender such as this. This is a 45 coat with a 10 inch barrel, a scope on it. Uh, I've loved contenders for 40 years. I've been using contenders since about 1982 and uh, they're just wonderful. I love single shots and I've always loved hunting with handguns. This proposal would allow us to do that with much more freedom. The only thing that I would like to have seen different in this was to not have such a short uh, limit on the cartridge length so that I could use my good old 4570 single shots. You could, you know, they could probably easily amend that later to allow uh, non-repeating uh, straight wall cartridges of longer than 1.8 inches and hopefully this will be a starting point to do something like that. But this is a very important change and needs to be done. Uh, muzzle loaders are not what they used to be. I mean, nowadays, you can get muzzle loaders that are just as modern as anything. Just they just don't use a cartridge. Uh, you know, you can use. Uh, they got electric ignition on them now. You use all kind of different scope systems and different kind of powder pellets and different kind of bullet designs and all kind of stuff that was not even on the radar when they first put in a muzzle loading season. If you can use a modern muzzle loader, you ought to be able to use a single shot rifle or handgun. This is a change that needs to be done. It needs to be done this year. We've been messing around with this for fifty. 15 years or so, it's time that it happened. Another change that is under proposal is to uh, move the muzzle load season or the primitive weapons season, if you will, to the last two weeks of the year, moving regular gun season back two weeks on the calendar. This is quite simply due to the fact that uh, it's been observed that the rut is in muzzle loader season now more so than it is in gun season. This would allow uh, regular gun hunters to take advantage of the rutting season in much better way than they do now. You're just basically moving it back two weeks, putting the muzzleload season on the end. Finally, it's been proposed that after the end of archery season, that from that point on, any weapon of choice could be used for uh, the remainder of deer season and then through the muzzleloader season when you could also use the uh, primitive weapon systems. These are changes that have been needing to be made for a long time, and if you don't tell TWRA about it, then they don't know. To do this, please send an email to twra.huntingcomments at tn.gov. This will let them know how you feel about the issue, and if they see enough public support behind this, they will make the changes. And if they know how you feel about the proposed changes, if they hear from enough of us hunters, then they'll know how they need to react to it, and they'll do the right thing. Thank y'all for watching. Thank y'all for considering this. Thank y'all for contacting TWRA and letting them know how you feel. God bless you. And as Charlie Daniels used to say, ain't it good to be alive and to be in Tennessee.